Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today we've got one of the reactions from the 10 year anniversary that, or songs I should say, that I was the most excited for, one of the few that I was really, really excited for, and that is Case and Points. Descender from 2015. Uh, they just stopped making music, or not stop making music, stop releasing on Monster Cat in 2015. Actually, I don't know if they've actually done anything since. Let's quickly look at their Spotify. Um, no, I don't think they've actually done anything since. I think Paradigm was the last one. Uh, okay, so this would have... This was very likely before the last song was released because Paradigm was like 20, or like December of... Uh, of 2015, so this would have been around the same time that they stopped, I guess, making music for a while. Uh, I am super excited. I've loved Case in Point. I love their style. I'm a huge fan of theirs. And so, uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. This is Descender from 2015 by Case in Point. Oh, just start like that. Uh-huh. I like it. Just give me that. Wow, just so much energy. Where is this going to go though is the real question. It's been five and a half years since I last got a new case in point track. Let's see how it goes! It is destructive. Okay, I like the energy of the song and its tonality. I don't know if I like really love it though. Like I just like that I can just like to it, but <laughs> other than that, it's like probably the hardest song they've released. Like it just goes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Are we getting a third drop? Let's go. I'm a fan. I'm a fan! That second drop, I just said I didn't know what I thought about it, and that second drop was like, yes. Yes, yes. Like it a lot more since that one. Here we go! Number three! Ooh! All of them are slightly different. This one adds more, like one more beat to it. Ooh. This reminds me a lot now of like a pixel song actually. It feels like it could almost be Bass House, especially this section. But it is Electro House. Okay! 
Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> again, I think the best word I can use to describe that song was uh, destructive. It was like, just, just go. It just went, just onward. And so I was, uh, I was a fan of that. I liked the uh, fairly minimalistic electro house take on the, the, for this track. Um, it gave it a lot of energy and oomph. And uh, I, uh, I was, I was definitely a fan. Um, I, I, I gotta stop using that as an adjective. I use it all the time for my adjectives about what I, how I describe something. Um, all three drops did a little something different. I think the, so. The first drop was like the first drop. I guess you always compare the next to the first. Second one uh, had felt like it was a little more melodic. It had it played with a little bit more of a um, an actual melody line and the third one was just kind of adding more beats it felt to it it felt like faster more driven section which is already crazy for an already very dr driven song um that felt like it fit in 2015 electro house for sure uh i i like the context of the year a lot on these songs because i could be like yes this does sound like 2015 case in point this does sound like something that i would have loved in 2015 um i would have like probably lost my mind a little bit more if it was back then when I was really in my heyday of loving Monster Cat, um, which probably I'm, I'm realistically mo love Monster Cat more today than I did before. But like in, when I was the, uh, what's the best example of just a new, uh, was it, was it like kid syndrome or something like that where you experience something for the first time and you're like, ah, oh, this just feels so great. And, um, yeah, I was, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I was gonna say it, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Uh, case in point, big thumbs up. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of Descender. Uh, I, I liked how gritty and just driven it was. And I think it's actually one of the uh, better tracks you guys have produced um, in that time. I, I would have liked this, I think maybe more than a few of the other tracks. Uh, who knows what the replay value on this will be like because it's it's pretty, I think, repetitive a bit. Uh, so we'll have to see, uh, I'll give it some more time and see what I think about that. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this track, Descender 2015 by Case in Point. Did you love it? Did you hate it? How does it compare to other Case in Point stuff? Were you happy with the return, sort of, because it's an older song? It's kind of weird where you can't really say it's like a return, but it's been five and a half years since we got a new Case in Point track, but it's not five and a half years between releases. It's a weird, it's just a weird, but I, I enjoy it. I like it a lot. Uh, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.